So, what is it that makes this experience special? And the first thing that we would like to talk about is that here at NYIT, because we are an American college, huh? we teach the entire classroom, or we try to teach the whole classroom. What does this mean? It means that when we address our students, we do not have a bias towards a specific type. Who's heard of MBTI? MBTI? MBTI stands for Myers-Briggs Typology Inventory. Okay? And it's basically, it's a way to, to define or to identify the DNA of your personality. This is not about zodiacs or cancer or Leo or Virgil or something like that. This is a very scientific um, test that is basically given and provided by very high companies. The United Nations where I used to work, this was a regular test that was given to employees. Okay? It identifies the way in which you work, your engine. So that when the professor, you speak to each other, I get very jealous. I am the center of the universe in this classroom. You all focus on me. I get extremely jealous. So, you talk to me. You can't talk to anyone else. Okay? Unless you're talking about me, which way you can talk to someone else. Okay. So, going back. So, MBTI identifies the way in which your personality works. And it's basically, basically, you come up with four letters which are the DNA of your personality. And we can't possibly give the entire test in this classroom. But what I want to do, and I wish you had pencils and pens, would have made it easier, but you need to remember letters. Each, every time I explain to you a set of letters, you're going to choose between I, E, N, and S, and F, and T, and P, and J. And once you do that, you're going to end up with what? With four letters. And these four letters, are the DNA of who you are. Okay? Not your physical DNA, your mind's DNA. And if you were to put these four letters in Google or in Yahoo, huh, just these four letters with no spaces in between, what you'll come up with is about 40,000 sites or more that explain to you how you work, who you are, what careers are best for you, and so much information about you. Okay? So we're going to do this test in a quick way, in a summarized way. But the reason we're doing it is, in my real classroom, I would give this test to identify the profile of my classroom. So that when I teach you, I'm not just teaching a particular type. See, the problem is, in many colleges and universities and high schools and elementary schools and kindergarten, the teacher is biased towards a specific type. And everyone else is being ignored in the process. This will become clear once we explain. Let's, let's do this. The first item, okay? I, I stands for introvert. What does an introvert mean? Introvert? Yes? Not social. Okay, not social. That's the usual way of understanding it. And E stands for extrovert, right? So extrovert would be the opposite of that, right? So I or E. But now, the, the real thing is not about whether you're social or not social. The real thing is whether or not, where rather, where do you get your energy from? Where do you get your energy from? <coughs> If you are an E person, an extrovert, you get your energy by being around what people. The more people you're around, the more energy you get. What's your name? Yes. Yeah. So we send E.S. to a party. Yes. Sorry. We send E.S. to a party, and what happens after the party's over? He wants another party. Why? Because he's he's energized. He, has, he gets more and more energy just by being around people, right? Our club here, likewise, the, the more you send him to places, the more he wants more and more, more energy. Huh? An I person, like me, once this event is over, guess what? I am so tired of being